night crew tonight we got three guys here for Pasquale's the crust is kind of a unique kind of crust where it's not thin but it's not also super thick it's got a nice weight to it hold all those toppings the pizza is completely loaded you're not gonna go away hungry here we like to put a lot of toppings on but we like to layer it in a certain way that you taste everything that's on it we knew that when we opened up that there was gonna be a lot of uh, a lot of competition. So we did it with, with uh, probably a loaded product. By loaded, I'm talking about we, we made the pizza a little more loaded than anyone else. Uh, my least favorite is pepperoni, and only because uh, I hate pepping the thing. We, we, put okay. we put 155 pieces of pepperoni on a 16-inch pizza. Okay, that's a lot of pepper. One thing we love here at Columbus by the Slice are community institutions, and that's one thing that you get at Pesquale's in Westerville. They may have moved from uptown Westerville to Schrock Road, but they haven't lost any of their charm. And personally, what do I love? And that's always the meat. And the, uh, the meat lovers they have here is, I have to say, the best one. It's my favorite in all the places we've gone. When you pick up that box, there's just a true heft to it, and I love it, and I think you will too. I don't know, my personal favorite here, I, I like my, uh, I like the Bianca, uh, they got a founder's favorite that, that uh, they tabbed after me because I would always order a Bianca style pizza and that's a garlic butter base okay, instead, of, instead of the uh, red sauce. And then I like it with uh, chicken and tomatoes. Being Italian, we love to eat in the morning, I guess. And everybody's in a hurry to go do their separate thing. So she would make a breakfast pizza. And the way she did this, she would hard bake a shell. It would be a thick shell with very thick edges. And it would be centered out, almost like you would do a, a large, any type of pie, any type of pastry pie. Well, she would hard bake that for about 15 minutes. And then after she baked it and let it cool, she would make filling, which would be made of five eggs, three pounds of cheese, and she would do it with usually bacon, ham, onions, and green pepper. And that would be her fill-in. And of course, all the pastries in the, uh, in the pastry case, uh, that's all homemade. So she's here early to do that and loves it. And, uh, I'm a late ski myself. I let my eyes wake me up. Or, or an early tea time. That's the only other thing I get me up. But, uh, the buffalo chicken here is amazing. Has a nice little layer of buffalo on top. It's not too hot. It's enough to get the nose a little runny, but I'm still gonna go home and nitty pot after this. Oh yeah, I plan on giving the, uh, you know, it, my son and daughter-in-law, they want the one out on the uh, in Jerome, and, and my daughter loves it here. So it's just something that's gonna stay in the family. 